Hello again. It's Monday, June 28th, 2021. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. The Covington High School class of 2021 received a classy, efficient commencement ceremony last Friday evening under almost perfect skies. Class valedictorian was Allison Douglas and salutatorian was Madison Bennett with Sammy Akers and Allison Douglas receiving Mr. and Miss CHS honors as well. And several other class honors were presented. Check out AlleghenyJournal.com for these. And CHS principal Derek Cantrell offered the group some advice for the future. Listen. Always remember your end goal and what you dream to be. Now as you leave Covington High School and go off to college, trade school, or the workforce with hopefully your new book bag, not your bolt one, set your goals high. Continue to work hard and if you struggle or fail along the way, get back up and keep going. Don't be afraid to fail, be afraid to not try. Good news has come to the City of Covington from the Commonwealth Transportation Board. It's now official. Complete replacement of the Rayon Bridge has been approved to the tune of about $13.8 million. The new bridge, slated for completion in 2024, will be moved slightly upstream from the current one in a move to straighten out the approach to it. More on AlleghenyJournal.com right now. And now a word from our sponsor. The First Presbyterian Church in Covington announced the reopening of its preschool program and is now accepting applications. Margaret Moss is leading the program, assisted by Josephine O'Rourke. For more information, contact Moss at 434-738-8512. Bluegrass and country music last Saturday in Covington, highlighted by Crawford and Powers' performance, was a big hit. And this week there will be much more in Covington and at the historic Masonic Amphitheater in Clifton Forge. The Allegheny Highlands Blues Society will be playing at the Masonic Amphitheater on Friday night, followed by the original Rondells on Saturday night. The Stockyard Parade will perform on Saturday in Covington with Domino and Fuzzy Logic playing on Sunday. And we'll be right back. And now for local obituaries. Kilmer Dressler, 69 of Covington, died Thursday. Worthy Kinsey, 66 of White Sulphur Springs, passed away Thursday. Teresa Martin, 67 of Covington, died Saturday. Shirley Lankus, 84 of White Sulphur Springs, died June 22nd. Lonnie Phillips Sr., 77 of Covington, died Friday. Marilyn Whitehead, 68 of Covington, died Friday. James Hutchison, 81 of Musto, passed away on Friday. Roy Piercy, 92, formerly of Iron Gate, died June 23rd. Catherine Brown, 75 of Clifton Forge, died Friday. And Christina Centeno, 44 of Richpatch, died Friday. More information on all obituaries may be found on AlleghenyJournal.com. Let's check out the local weather forecast. On Tuesday, it should be mostly sunny, high of 92 and a low of 67. On Wednesday, partly cloudy with showers likely, high of 92 and a low of 68. 
and on Thursday, mostly cloudy with showers, high of 88 and a low of 66 degrees. And that's the way it is on Monday, June 28, 2021. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24 7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV.